so again, electronics review. Today we're going to look at the Kotec Invisible Wireless Charger. This is model T590F. So just so you understand, this is not a paid advertisement. However, Kotec normally offers my channel lots of freebies that they basically give me a free sample of and then they expect me to do a review for them of their product. Now, first of all, I'll just say personally, I've been very, very, very impressed with Kotex products. Apple charges you an arm and a leg for the same stuff. Now, while I will say that Kotex wire build quality tends to be not as high in standard as Apple, what they do offer when they do offer high build quality tends to be better than what Apple offers. Now, if you get the lesser priced product, you'll probably um, still be satisfied. And in the case of this invisible wireless charger, I'm about to show you why this is something that you actually might want to consider. So first of all, let's understand. This has a 12 volt input and it works using a DC plug that uh, is 1.5 amps and it has a 10 watt max output. So that means that uh, this offers 10 watt fast charging. So this AC adapter looks like this. It's a regular AC adapter. It's not USB-C and it's also not uh, USB-A or B. Now, as far as the pad, let's take a quick look at the pad. The pad, because they know that these wireless chargers, induction charging, they know that these things get hot. This actually has a built-in fan with heat detection. And once this thing believes that it's too hot, it's going to turn on the fan and it will start to cool itself down. So right there, that's it uh, feels very good. The build quality is very good. I should also say while we're looking at it that you'll notice that there's two holes here. Now, that's the brilliance of this. Let's say that you have a computer desk and you want to add a wireless charging pad that nobody can see to your computer desk. Well, that's what these holes are for. It comes with two small screws, or you could use your own depending upon how thick your desk is. And those two screws can be used. You're not locked into using those small screws, but you can use whatever screw you need to get this thing installed into your desk. One screw here, one screw there allows you to plug this under your desk facing upwards. So that's the main gist of the charging pad. For sake of expediency, I'm not going to install this because I wouldn't install this in this desk. Uh, this desk is like a picnic style desk that I intend on using outside every now and then when I take my guns outside. So this is not the desk I would use. Some desks actually come with a wireless charger already built in. I've noticed that Bob's Discount Furniture and Costco and BJ sell furniture that already has wireless charging built in. But this is beautiful just in case you want to add wireless charging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, um, it's not really a magazine, but it's a flyer for the school district. And I'm going to use this on top of the charging pad. So as you can see, the charging pad is ready. The charging pad is green. So I'm going to use this to simulate what it would be like if you were to drill this into the bottom of a desk. Now, what you're gonna ask is, well, how do I know where the pad is? I mean, I need to know where the pad is. Okay, Kotec gives you this little ditty right here. Uh-oh, let me just pick this up. So they give you this little ditty right here to help you find the position. So as soon as you use this, this helps you center it by showing you pretty much where the center is it's pointing you in the direction of the center. When all of the lights light up, you'll know you're dead centered. Now, let's look at this again. Okay, we're right about there. All right, so when all of the lights light up, you'll know you're centered. This is actually a nice piece of equipment. I'm going to test this on other charging pads. Okay, wait, that should be centered right about there. Funny because I had it a little while ago. Well, but th these things are both moving, so it's not a big deal. But I could edit this part, but no, I'm, I'm not going to edit this part. I'll let you see exactly what I went through to try to center the sound. <laughs> it's 
So I believe you're supposed to follow the blue light. There it is. Now, you see what it is? You follow the blue light, and the blue light will, it says go up. Go up just a little. Go to the right. Go up. Go to the right. Go up. Right. right. Up. Right. had it just a second ago. It should be right there. No, it should be right about there. There it is. There it is. Got it. There it is. Now, you see that? That tells you you're on target. Right? So, what are you supposed to do then? Well, once you've... Uh, centered this bad boy they wanted you to center it but they also wanted you to center it with one of these this is the actual um the induction uh this is the induction uh metal pad here so basically now you understand how it works so what we do is we'll put this here and we'll put the uh, magnetic induction uh, well in fact let's take that away There we go. Okay. Okay. That allows you to position it. So the way this is supposed to actually work is you're supposed to actually, before you use this, now that I've demonstrated how this actually works, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually put the positioning pad this is the decorative element, and then you're supposed to put this in the center of it. Then you're supposed to move this around until it is centered. So the assumption is this. You'll have locked down the charging pad first. Then you'll use the positioning pad to position on your... Now, you'll move this around in order to position this on your desk where it needs to be. And once you get there, let's see, it says move up just a little. There it is. There it is. Okay, there we go. So once the position is perfect, because we all know, see, that's one of the reasons why Apple was actually really smart to give you magnetic locking on the back of the iPhone 12 and the 13, and they'll obviously have it on the 14, because this way you don't have to go crazy trying to figure out the positioning. But once you've got it set up the way the instruction shows you how to set up, the position locator tells you, okay, this is exactly where you should put the sticker, and that's where you put the sticker, so that this way when you lay your phone on it, you'll know it's gonna automatically charge. So again, if you're trying to do a project and you're looking for an invisible wireless charger, you should look for the T590F because there are other induction chargers out there, but there aren't that many that you can hide. And most of the ones that you probably would find don't have built-in cooling. So that's actually something worth Let's looking at. Let's take a at. really quick look at another Kotec product. This is the PD6008, and it professes to be a gallium nitride 100-watt charger. So this has dual power delivery for USB 3.0. In fact, I know I did a video about this before. I've been using this for over, I'd say about over a year. And it has a total power output of 100 watt max. And um, as you can see, it can be plugged into any socket from 110 all the way up to 240V. And as you can see, it's putting out a 2.5 amp max charge. Now, what that translates into is that it can handle all of these DCs, uh, 20 volts, 2.25 amps, or 20 volts, 5 amps each. So, first of all, I'll just say it like this. I've been using this to fast charge my iPhone 12 Pro Max and my iPhone 13 Pro. And uh, it has been very reliable. haven't had any problems out of it whatsoever. At all. I haven't had any problems with it. In fact, I'm about to use it again right now. 
So that's the charger. That's the brick. Now you could use any plug with this. Like if you want to charge an Apple Watch, if you want to use a uh, wireless pad, whatever you want to use, it doesn't really matter. You can use anything you want with this. Now, this pad is the T580F. Now, as you can see, this is the T590F. I have two charging pads just like this, which come with the exact same design, except unlike this pad, the uh, T590F, the T580 comes with magnetic locks in it, which automatically lock right onto your iPhone 12 or 13 or anything else that has the uh, magnetic locks on the uh, back of the phone. Now, all you basically do is you plug this into the uh, power delivery port, and then you plug this into your uh, socket, and you're ready to go. So um, let's do that real quick. That's all plugged up. All you need to do at that point is just put your phone on this, and this connects right to your phone automatically. It, it automatically aligns itself, and it starts charging immediately. It clips right onto the back of your phone. In fact, I could do it right now just by putting it near the phone. I dropped it. That's my fault. <laughs> and that's it. And then it starts charging. That's it. So that's all I had to do. It clips right onto the back of the phone. You might be able to see it in the shadow. Yeah, you can see the shadow. It just clips right on. Boom. And that's it. Um, you're probably not going to hear the uh, charge um, indicator because I think they turn it off for videos or something. But uh, this has served me very, very well. And um, I usually like using it. It has a metal back. And as you know, wireless induction charging causes the phone to start to heat up. That's the reason why the uh, T590F had to have a built-in fan because these things do get kind of hot. The metal aluminum plate helps it dissipate heat quicker. So that's actually a really good thing. So this way, it, it's not terribly hot to the touch. The thing about it is when you use this, it's kind of best that you use this only if your main charging point gets wet because at that point the charge port won't work. So the only other way you can charge it is using the induction charger. So basically when I was at the beach and the port got a little bit of moisture in it, the port stops working. So the only way to charge your phone is to use one of these. That's the reason why I have two of these. They come in very handy and they do offer pretty fast charging when you put the phone down, turn the screen off, and you just let it run. So far, I've showed you my two favorite from Kotec. Now I'm just going to show you one from Mophie. I got this for $7.99 from Micro Center. So it comes in a very plain box. It's, you know, Mophie didn't spare any expense packing these things up. Now, like the T590F Kotec, this uses a AC plug and it converts into um, wireless induction charging as soon as you plug it in. So I'll Plug it in real quick just to show you what that looks this like. Is the AC adapter. So, as you can see, uh, this will work in any socket between 110 and 240, and it has a uh, max output of 0 0.7 amps. It says output 19 volts or 1.3 amps. Now, this is technically not as fast. It's nowhere near as fast as this 100 watt charger with this. However, I have to say that this model does have a maximum output of 15 watts. So this model is actually faster than the invisible wireless charger, but both of those, if I'm not mistaken, are faster than this Mophie right here. So yes, in the box is very little, but it does come with uh, some basics just to, you know, let you, you know, be, for them to be able to say, yeah, we gave you some instructions. So um, most of it, very small print, hard to read. But uh, for the most part, it's a very straightforward device. This Mophie will charge any phone. It'll charge a Galaxy. It'll charge an iPhone. These instructions are not very helpful. However, the pad itself works. I've already tested it. I've used it. The pad itself works. There's almost no fanfare. It just works. So basically, you just take this, you plug it in. And that's it. I mean, there's, you know, there's nothing uh, remarkable to some extent. It's, it's, it's just a, a wireless charge pad. But if you're the type of person who has a phone that doesn't have magnetic guide locks like the iPhones offer, 
then for you, it really probably won't matter. You'll be able to there use it. There you have it. You've got the Mophie, which is easily findable in your nearest micro center. You have the Kotec T580F, which is pretty much my favorite when paired with a uh, GAN charger, a GAN uh, PD charger. And then you have the T590F, which is really best if you're a DIY person who wants to install your own wireless charging pad in something. This is not a good, let me just say it as clearly as I can. This is not a good standalone charger. This is for somebody who wants to build a desk or wants to build something that is going to have wireless charging in it. Even if you wanted to put wireless charging in, in a bar where you have people drinking, this is what that's for. This is not for standalone charging. If you need standalone charging and you're looking for T580F, if you have an iPhone 12 or 13 or 14, anything that has the MagSafe Pro, you're going to want one design like this. Now, the prices on these, go on eBay. I'll leave you a link. Prices on these are far less expensive than what Apple charges you. Apple charges you top dollar, not only for their power bricks, but for their wireless chargers. I've been using this for months. I've been using this for a year. I can honestly say that Kotex products are good. And that's all I basically have to say. So if you have uh, comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section, and I usually do my best to get back to you within a day.